Hello, you guys. I have a very exciting video for today. These are exciting times for the channel. I have my first sponsored-ish video for you guys, and I'll clarify a little bit, okay. Merit, a beauty brand, reached out to me and wanted to send me product, and of course, I was like, yes. Oh my God, have I made it in life? I don't know. So I was like, super excited when they reached out to me because I've actually seen their brand on YouTube before. Alana Davidson did a video using their products before and they just looked so beautiful. I was tempted to buy them myself when I saw Alana use them. I'm very excited that they reached out. It is a clean beauty brand. Also, they did not ask me to make like a full dedicated video. I just wanted to. So that's what we're gonna do. So it says it is paraben-free, sulfate-free, artificial fragrance-free, it's a clean brand, sensitive skin safe, cruelty-free, vegan. The list goes on. This brand, Merit, is supposed to be a minimalistic beauty brand where less is more. So very natural vibes, which I don't think I wear a ton of makeup. I'm definitely not like a natural girl. This is a newer brand. It launched at the beginning of 2021 and you can find it in Sephora, which I think is super cool. You can get it from the website, you can get it from Sephora. Merit has new shades. Slick. <laughs> new shade slick shades launching. Actually, they launched 824, so about a week ago. If you know me, lip products are like my favorite thing ever, so that is like the one product I was most excited to try. Before we get too far into it, I do have a link for you guys. I'll have it linked in the description below. It does support me directly, so thank you so much in advance if you choose to purchase through my link. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> All of the products came in this reusable bag. Whoever you are, if it's your first purchase with Merit, you'll get your products in this bag. Super cute, it's reusable brand here. It's like a corduroy-ish material, but I love first impressions. I love the packaging. It's super clean and minimalistic, which is exactly what you would expect from the brand, but they come in these blue boxes. And then the packaging, the actual components are just beautiful. You'll see as we go throughout, just perfection. I look a little bit different now. I probably, what the heck happened? I have on my Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector. If you know, you know. We need an under eye corrector around here. So as I was gonna say, not everything in this video will be merit, but I'm gonna be using every product that they gave me. Honestly, if you wanted to, they have a set online that is all of their products bundled in one, and you could use that for basically a full face. So I have basically a full face makeup here, but I'm gonna add a little bit to it because you know, I'm just extra like that. So I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna be reading what these products are called, so I'm sorry. The minimalist perfecting complexion stick. It's not a foundation or concealer, but it's supposed to replace both in your makeup bag. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful and it's just very luxe. It even feels heavy. And then I got a brush with it. So this is the brush that goes with it. I'm sure you can use whatever brush, but I'm gonna use the one that's supposed to go with it. I don't use foundation, but I do love concealer because I have a relatively dark under eye. So I'm curious to see if this would be able to get me to a point where I'm content with my under eye coverage. I am gonna use a little bit all over the face, just, you know, for sake of this video to see what it looks like. So let me zoom in a little bit here. Also, in case you're wondering, I got it in shade cream. I got a pomp, pomp all right there. I don't know if I should put it on my whole face. I don't wear foundation all the time. I'll just put it in some places, okay? Maybe. <laughs> of course we need it here because ma'am, I got all kinds of discoloration going on there. Let's just try. Oh, oh let's just put it on the whole face. <laughs> I'm curious what this color would look like too. Now let's see how this brush works. That, yeah, that just like blended into nothing, which is a good thing. It looks like my skin, what? I like it because I don't like high coverage and this is not high coverage, it is not what I'm here for. I think I'm gonna use my finger for my under eyes because I do need more coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit more on here and Blend it with my finger for added coverage, but let's see. It blends really easily. So here is what it looks like. I would say it's medium coverage, definitely not high, if which I prefer high. I'm gonna see how it layers up. This is definitely for a more natural 
gal. You know what? I think I could use this when I go to the gym in the morning. Just throw this on really quick. Cause I do put a little bit of concealer on, but this is a lot more convenient. So it does layer and give a little bit more coverage. First of all, I love the finish. It's super natural. This is definitely low to medium coverage if you concentrate it. But knowing myself, I just need more coverage on the under eye area because that's like my biggest insecurity. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Hourglass concealer down here. I'm probably gonna set that because my under eyes crease like a mofo. So I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. So I just set my under eyes. Merit doesn't have like a cream bronzer. So I'm going to use my favorite liquid, liquid bronzer, this Bare Minerals Pro Glow Bronzer. I super recommend this one if you just want a natural everyday liquid bronzer and it's super blendable and easy to work with. So I'm just gonna put this on really quick. I don't usually use all creams, but we're gonna go with the flow here, okay? All the Merit products are creams for face, it, which I love the look of creams. They look a lot more natural. I just typically use powders because I don't know, but I love the look of a cream. So we're gonna go all cream today. See, this just blends out so easily. And I only put powder on my under eyes, if you're wondering. So now that I have my bronzer on, which is a necessity, I'm too pale to not have bronzer. I'm going to use the blush from Merit. It's called the Flush Balm Cheek Color, and I got this in the shade Cheeky. This is supposed to be a cream tint that melts into the skin for lit from within color that stays flush all day. I'll tell you what, I wore this makeup all day yesterday, didn't set it outside of my under eyes, and it did last all day, which was shocking. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it and I'm not gonna do it directly to my skin. I don't wanna possibly move anything around. So I just put my finger directly on the product to get it and that's what it looks like. And I never know where to place blush. I'm like kind of back and forth. It's like, I don't like it up here. I feel like I like it up here, but I'm like, I look kind of naked up here anyway. So we'll see. I'm gonna place this directly on my cheeky with my fingy. the extra up there. I'll try to blend it out completely with this. And there you go. There's one side without the blush and one side with it. It gives a little subtle glow and it just gives a hint of color. So I appreciate it. Let's do the other side. I think I might've put a little bit too much. So I'm gonna do a little bit less on this side. Or start small and build up on this side because it was harder. I only put so much at once. I like to put a little bit on my forehead. I think my sister, Olivia, would love this brand. She's super minimalistic when it comes to makeup. And I feel like this just fits her vibe perfectly. My mom wants to try it as well. <laughs> she was super excited about the prospect. She was there for the unboxing, you know, it was a moment. So here is what it's looking like. See, it's just a super natural flush. You can still see my freckles, which I like. It just looks like my skin. So you can see my freckles through it. It's not covering my skin up completely. And it gives a little bit of glow. So I really do like that blush. The next item we're gonna try is their highlight. It's also a cream highlight. It's called the Day Glow Highlighting Balm and I got it in the shade Kava. So this is supposed to give a dewy, balmy sheen with zero sparkle, which I, I don't want a glittery highlight. So I am good with that. And once again, nothing I've tried so far has had a scent, which makes sense because it said it wouldn't and it's all clean, but just wanted to point that out. And I just love the packaging once again. I'm torn between if I want to try applying it directly on my face or not. Maybe I'll try and just see what happens. Let's see, I'm gonna, no, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm gonna just use my finger once again. It's easy, it's not like it's difficult. Here's what it looks like on my finger. And we're gonna apply it directly to the potch. Just gives it. I'm totally, like I swear, they didn't tell me what to say. This is all my honest opinions, people, and I am seriously liking these products. They just look super natural. So here's that side with the highlight, and then this is the side without it, which there's a glow from the, from the blush, but it's just more glowy with the highlight. So let's do the other side. chin 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 and then of course we can't forget about the schnoz it's like my favorite 
highlight is the schnoz. So that's what we're looking like. I love my, it just looks like my skin. I like it. And in case you're wondering, let's see, this does twist up and you can twist it back down. I'm here for, maybe we'll try coloring it on there. I'm here for it. So the next product I'm gonna use is the brow product. I feel like my eyebrows are too sparse to just use a brow pomade without filling them in. I'm contemplating just trying to use the brow pomade as is to see what it looks like. I mean, I guess why not? Makeup comes off. I like I'm stuck with it on my face. I was very excited to receive this brow po product because I've been using the same brow pomade for like months and months and it's almost out. And this was just like perfect timing. I got it in the shade blonde, which you might be confused about because I'm kind of a brunette, but I just feel like the more taupey neutral shades go better with my complexion and my hair color than when I purchase brown colors. So this is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. It's a nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade adds color and volume for healthy, fluffy arches. I don't know how I feel about the whole fluffy brow trend. I don't think I can pull it off because my brows are on the thinner side, but the packaging is beautiful. Here it is, Gorge. Hear that sound, here's what the product looks like. It's a little bit thicker of a brush, so if you have thicker brows, this would be nice for you. I'm nervous to try it without lining my eyebrows first. I don't know. I'm actually surprised. Look at it. <laughs> you guys are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look at it after, before, after. They just look filled in very, it looks like I just have naturally full brows, which I kind of do. I mean, my brows aren't the fullest, but they're not the thinnest. That actually, that worked out well. Let's do the other brow. This is my more finicky brow. Okay, now look at my brows. Those actually look really good. I could just use this and run out the door. Are you kidding me? I don't need to use a pencil. I'm a fan, I am shocked. I thought I wouldn't like it as much without a pencil to line them first, but they look good. I'm not surprised it's a good product, but I'm surprised that my eyebrows look that full. Okay, okay. I do think if I'm wearing like a dramatic eye look or something, then we would need to talk. I would probably need to fill them in a little bit so there's not so much contrast, but they look pretty good. And then the product I was most concerned about is the mascara. I'm very particular about mascara. It's like I only use the same mascara every freaking day, but the packaging is gorgeous. And when I saw the wand of this mascara, I knew there was promise. I love a thicker applicator like this. This looks like the applicator of my favorite mascara. It looks like it would be a volumizing mascara just based off the wand, but let's read what the site says. So the site says it tints, lengthens, and lifts lashes with no smudging ever. So I'm trying to decide if this is waterproof because I wore it yesterday and it was more difficult to remove than I thought it would. I thought it was not waterproof, but it says it's easy to remove with more modern cleanser to protect lashes from the pulling and harsh removers required by most smudge proof mascaras. So it does sound like it's waterproof, but it came off easily with my makeup balm remover. Okay, now let's try this out on camera. First, I need to curl my eyelash because they are not naturally curly. Typically I would wear some kind of eyeshadow, but I don't know if you guys are here for that today. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the mascara. Also, <laughs> looks so weird. Warning, I apparently apply mascara very strange. I've learned from my Thrive video. So like, I don't need the hate, leave the hate in your head. Don't leave it in the comments. I already know, apparently I don't know how to apply mascara. Also keep in mind, this is a new mascara tube. So typically to dry out a little bit, they are more volumizing. That's how I like my mascara best is after a few uses, but let's see. Yes, I blink the entire way through, okay? Here is my eye without mascara and then with mascara. Right off the bat, I mean, it looks pretty good. Definitely can tell a difference. Let's go ahead and do the other eyeball. So here we are. And then I'm definitely more than one coat kind of girl. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So after applying it yesterday, I could tell that the best way for me to get the lashes that I prefer, which are like bolder, 
thicker lashes. I need to wait for this to dry and then apply a third layer. And then that's how I really like the way my lashes look. But this just off the bat, it's a lot more natural of a mascara. Like they look like your lashes, but better, which is very on par with the brand. There's not any clumpiness or anything. They just look very natural, but your lashes, but better. If that's the kind of mascara you like, I definitely would recommend this. And the packaging is just beautiful. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna apply a third and then we'll do the last and one of the most exciting products. So I went ahead and added the third layer of mascara as well as liner to my top lash line as well as some inner corner highlight. But now I'm going to show you guys the shade slick. So this is a new shade that just got released and I got it in the shade Taupe. There's four new shades for fall and it was very difficult to choose which one to get, but I got taupe because I'm definitely a neutral gal. So now they have eight shades on the site. So this is supposed to be a slick of sheer color infused with rosehip oil and shea butter for healthy lips all day. I'm excited to show you guys. I used it yesterday and I loved it. Not to give anything away. So I have nothing on my lips. This is just what they look like with some filler. Here's the wand, just put it straight on. And here is what they look like. It just looks like my lips, but better. They have like the perfect finish. It's not too glossy. It's not too matte. I'm just obsessed. It feels like I have a moisturizing oil on my lips. I don't know how to describe it, but they're not sticky at all. It just feels like your lips are super moisturized. It's not like a gloss. It is like a lip oil and it just feels super moisturizing and not sticky and looks like your lips are better and I'm obsessed. So I am very happy. I would love to get more colors of this. I am obsessed with the formula. I wore it all day yesterday and it literally looked like I still had lip color on by the end of the day. I didn't reapply. I, I don't know, it's not confirmed, but I feel like it stained my lips a little bit, which I'm here for because then it looks like I'm wearing it all day. So it says it has rosehip oil and omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids that encourage healthy barrier function and provide antioxidant benefits. It also has shea butter and grapeseed oils to condition and soften lips. And let me tell you, they feel very soft and conditioned. And also jojoba oil creates a protective barrier to help block in moisturizer. And I agree with all of this. It's like your lips, but better, your lips are more moisturized, your lips a little bit shinier, your lips, but a little bit more colorful. And I am a big fan of this. And the packaging is super cute as well. And they're just new colors. So this is a taupe color. It has a lot more pink in it than I was suspecting, but I'm happy about the color. It's like my perfect neutral color that I would pick out any day of the week. So I'm a big fan. Guys, that is everything that I'm reviewing from Merit today. That is their full line so far. It is a newer brand, but they basically have a full face for you. And I'm obsessed. This is just like natural, your face, but better makeup. It's super easy. If I wasn't talking, I could do this so quick. And I feel like I'm just ready to go out the door. I highly recommend checking out Merit. I'm not biased, I swear. I just love this brand and I'm super happy that they wanted to partner with me and send me their makeup. And I am just so honored. Thank you guys for the support because it's because of you that I got here. I wouldn't be here without you, you know? I definitely recommend this makeup brand, especially for those of you who are more minimalists or like clean vegan beauty and are looking for natural everyday makeup products. I recommend this brand and you can get it at Sephora or you can get it from the Merit beauty website there might be other places you can get it as well like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i do have a link that you guys can use to buy products from merit and if you use that thank you in advance and thank you merit for sending me these products and letting me try out the new lip oil but yeah guys that's all i have for you today i hope you guys liked it if you want to see more reviews and things like this let me know in the comments below i upload videos every wednesday at 11 a.m eastern standard time so you guys know where to find me and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out. Bye, haters. Peace.